Right now at 6 o'clock, he was clipped by a speeding vehicle in 128 in Needham and tells us he is thankful to be alive. Now he's hoping police find that driver who never stopped. Good evening, I'm Katie Brace. And I'm Ken McLeod. That survivor fought through his pain today to speak with WBZ's Paul Burton. As soon as I passed the driver's side mirror on my car, boom, right in my back. And I just fell, fell to the ground. My brother grabbed me. 20-year-old Yanni Janarikas is counting his blessings. He says he was just inches away of possibly getting killed by a hit-and-run driver Friday afternoon. My back's in serious pain. Yanni says he and his brother Constantinus were on their way home from work on Route 95 southbound in Needham. When their truck overheated, they pulled over into the breakdown lane. Yanni says that's when he got out of the truck to pop open the hood. Around slowly like this, and the next thing you know, smack! And he turned and his legs crumbled. The brothers say Yanni was clipped by a driver speeding by. All you heard was a, a huge smack. Miro went flying in the air. Yanni turned to me and said, I got hit my back and fell into my arms. Police are now looking for the driver who did not stop. The brothers believe it was a silver Jeep. They didn't stop. They stopped for, like you said, a quarter mile down. And I think they realized that I was in pain and I was in trouble. And they just decided to take off. Yanni was taken to the hospital with some back injuries, but is expected to be okay. I'm pretty traumatized. The doctor told me another three inches over, and I was gone. It was an unbelievable experience, and thank God his guardian angel was strong enough to protect him. Anyone with information in regards to the drivers asked to contact state police. In Needham, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.